I've talked about an event. Uh, I was in Korea last month, part of this month, and Nicole, my wife, and I went uh, because we had heard that a man claimed that he could take you to enlightenment in eight days. Uh, I went up to see my friend Tim, and he said, well, you know, spiritual, the last vestige of spiritual vanity is when you claim to be enlightened. Because, and it's true, if you claim to be enlightened, there's no way you can be. I've heard a few people say it, and as soon as they, as soon as somebody says, oh, they're enlightened, I pretty much dismiss them, especially if they say it's a quote from the person. And this master never even dwelled on it, you know, never looked at it, never said anything about it, except that he said he can get people there, and he can. It's, it's quite a fascinating process. It's fun. It's traditional. It's not fun. It is traditional. Uh... There were parts that were very uh, frustrating. I can't say stressful because eating vegetarian food, being in the middle of the uh, Korean hinterlands and uh, sitting around a lot all day isn't really stressful, but it was could be frustrating as crazy. But as we were walking, leaving the airport, uh, or getting into the airport to leave Seoul, Korea, I said to my wife, you know, this was a trip of many lifetimes. As I know, I hear people say, oh, this is a trip of a lifetime. They save and save and save, and then they go someplace like Hawaii, and it's the trip of the lifetime for them. And I said to her, no, this is the trip of many lifetimes. I think that both of us must have been on this path for many lifetimes. And why I say that is I've done some reading on enlightenment, enlightenment theory, self-actualization and such, and they talk about people who look for the quick course, the, the short course, the fast course, to uh, enlightenment or self-actualization and who go out into insanity and while I believe that there is part of me that is quite insane I really don't, I'm not bothered by that uh, when I look at how other people live their lives uh, it looks crazy to me so my craziness I can kind of settle with but when we were looking at the course I recall reading that there were people who said that they went on a quick course to enlightenment, got there, but then went absolutely bonkers, incapable, uh, non-functional insane. And while some people may argue with you, I may be there. Uh, what I believe is, if you're attracted to something like this, then you're, you've spent lifetimes looking for it. And there is a good chance that you're probably ready for it. And then, the, the insanity, if it does come, it will be a refreshing reprieve from how you've been living your life. And that's what it was for us, for Nicole and I both. It was just it was such a refreshing experience getting to us again, getting to uh, be with us, you know, for even just an instant. It, it changes how you perceive how you live your life, and your life becomes more fun, more soothing, more uh, productive. But that's just a thought. www.micpeakperformance.com. Uh, my book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. Nicole's book is uh, Rule Number One Mom Has Fun. Uh, that's a great parenting book. If you got kids and you're not having fun, you're teaching them how not to as well when they grow up.